All right, welcome. Thank you for participating in today's Home Performance Counts Virtual Green Home Tour. My name is Michelle Diller and I'll be your NAHB host and moderator today. Home Performance Counts is a joint initiative of the National Association of Home Builders and the National Association of Realtors. You can learn more at homeperformancecounts.info. Please note the sessions being recorded and will be uploaded for on-demand viewing on NAHB.org in the next few days. Please note this webinar is copyrighted by the National Association of Home Builders and is intended to provide complete and accurate information on the subject matter covered as of the time of publication. I'll give you a minute now to review the copyright and disclaimer statement. All right, today's learning outcomes are exploring how the green building strategies and features of a home that can impact its comfort, health, efficiency, and durability for the families that live in them, to discuss how communicating green and high performance features to clients in a relatable way increases customer interest and understanding, and to recognize the advantages of a strong builder realtor relationship in realizing the value of green in your next sale. Today's tour of Silverado Valley Estates is just under 20 minutes, followed immediately by a live question and answer session with Annette Buback of Sonova Energy Corporation. And Paul Parkinson of Lennar. Feel the Q&A feature next to the chat button at the bottom of the Q&A and any that we do not get to will be summarized in a PDF and available in the replay library with today's content. Now it's time for the tour with Annette and Paul. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Annette Bubak, and I am the Sales and Training Manager for Sonova. I'm also a Green Designated Realtor, as well as an instructor for the National Association of Realtors Green Designation. Today, I am very excited to be able to host you and give you be the tour guide for this virtual green home tour, Home Performance Counts, which is brought to you by the National Association of Home Builders, as well as the National Association of Realtors. We have Paul Parkinson, who is Lennar's Director of Sales for Southern Nevada joining us today. And he's going to uh, be a tour guide for the models as well. And then we're gonna spend a little time going through some questions and answers with him. And together, we're, we are bringing you to sunny Southern Nevada to explore how one large production builder, Lennar, incorporates home performance features into the production home packages. Lennar has done a great job of finding the sweet spot of cost-effective home performance and customer-desired strategies, including providing solar standard on each and every home. Today's tour is featuring Silverado Valley, a state's collection which demonstrates Lennar's commitment to integrating energy efficiency and renewable energy. Lennar is offering over a dozen communities in Las Vegas Valley with solar as a standard feature. This is part of their Everything Included program. This community is being built to the Energy Star version 3.0 standard 2018 Nevada Energy uh, Code, as well as the 2009 IECC. Building with energy efficiency in mind lowers the operating costs, creates a more comfortable home, reduces carbon emissions, all while being a sustainable solution. Over the years, building science has effectively evolved in high performance homes. This generation of home builders build very energy efficient homes, especially when you compare those to built in the 1990s and early 2000s. The next step towards a net zero energy home is adding rooftop solar. Solar not only generates power for the home, it can help reduce building costs to the builder by utilizing no cost programs. Buyers are savvy and do, in fact, desire a home that is energy efficient and offers advanced technology. 75% of new home buyers want smart home technology. 80% think of solar as a smart home technology. Upcoming generations are expecting energy efficiency and turnkey with solar built right into the home. What I really like about the partnership between Lennar and Sonova is the fact that they've been leading the way to 
for the transition towards clean energy and affordable uh, renewable energy. When our homes are built with energy conscious in mind, we want the utility bills to be low and your carbon footprint to be less and less over the years. And then of course, Sonova provides the world with cleaner, renewable, and more reliable energy by focusing on responsible growth, uh, energy resiliency, and innovation to create a lasting value. And we're proud to say that we've installed over 45,000 uh, solar systems on new homes and uh, we're working on over 600 new home communities. So Paul, will you please introduce us to Silverado Valley and the Estates Collection? Yeah, the uh, Silverado Valley is located in the southwest section of Las Vegas. We've got four different collections here that starts from a square footage of 1,900 square feet to about 3,700 square feet. The Estates Collection is kind of the jewel of that, of that crown, if you will. Um, it really is the uh, the premier product that we sell here in Las Vegas. We do this in multiple communities throughout the entire entire valley. And um, the estates at Silverado Valley have been a great sell for us and a very good product for us. These homes are built with energy efficient features. And just to highlight a few. First, behind the walls, which you do not see, but one of the most important quality features is the nice tight ceiling uh, of the shell. And what that does, it actually uh, creates a snug home preventing airflow going from outside to inside or the inside conditioned air leaking outward, wasting all of that energy that you've spent to condition that air. Another important feature behind the walls that you don't normally see in a home is the insulation in the attic, which is being installed with an R30. And then you add a radiant barrier at the roof line and together both of those prevent the heat from penetrating into your home. We have walls that are also being installed with R17. The goal is to block the heat from entering the home and causing your air conditioner to work extra hard which then costs more money to cool your home and vice versa in the winter. These homes offer low E windows. The windows have a U-value of 0.34 and an SHGC of 0.22, which blocks the heat while allowing daylight. The air conditioning system is powered by electric and it's a 14 sear cooling system, saving money to cool your home, especially during our hot, sunny summer months. The lighting in the homes are the most energy efficient LED lights. You will find beautiful stainless steel Energy Star kitchen appliances, which together, along with all the other energy efficient features, create an energy efficient home. Smart home tech for energy management. Programmable Honeywell Z-Wave smart thermostat helps homeowners keep their home comfortable and save on home, home energy costs. Coupled with a solar system with the micro inverters, ranging in sizes from 4.76 to 5.44 kilowatts. Along with the energy efficiency features, these homes are built with low flow water features, which is very important here in the desert. Indoor air quality is also very important, creating a comfortable home with low toxins. How we do that is by using low VOC paints. Here at the Estates of Silverado Valley, we've got three different floor plans, um, starting out with the Harrison floor plan. Um, it's 31 and 73 square feet, but what makes it so unique is that it's got a six bay RV garage. One of the most popular features throughout this, this valley with this home. Um, it's four bedrooms, three and a half baths, a uh, very open floor plan. It's designed to live in and outdoors also, which all of our floor plans are. Home efficiency is measured with a HERS rating um, certificate. Think of it as a miles per gallon in a vehicle. You want to know how efficient your car is. You also want to know how efficient your home is. You'll see in each of these homes, we have what we call the HERS score. And what is really important is in this particular home, which is the 3173 square foot home, without solar normally scores a score of 60, which is actually a very energy efficient home when 100 is usually a standard reference home. Anything that's older in the, in the years of 2000, 1990s, those usually range way above 100, sometimes into as high as 150. 
In this case, you're seeing that it's built to a 60, but then when we add solar, it becomes even more energy efficient and scores at a 33. Zero is zero energy. So the closer to zero, the more important. Um, the next one that we have is one of my favorites. It's the Eleanor Next Gen, home within a home, 3565 square feet. Again, four bedrooms, three and a half bath. It's got a four bay garage, but it does have that extra living quarters next door. And we're seeing so many people using that extra living quarters, not necessarily as living quarters. They're using it as an office space nowadays with COVID that it hit. And um, we're finding that it really, really worked really well for, for many of our home buyers uh, to see that. In the, this home, which is 3565 square feet, it scores a 59 index. That's without solar, which again, by itself, is very, very good, very efficient, especially when you refer to 100 as a standard home. Then you add solar, and it drops the score even further, closer to zero, by giving it a 30. Our last floor plan is, again, one of the more popular floor plans within the Las Vegas market, too. It's called the William. It's 3776 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, three bay garage. What's nice about this is you've got your master quarters on the, on the one side, and then you've got all your other living quarters on the other side. Again, very open, lives indoor, outdoor spaces, and it's just, just a wonderful to walk through. the largest home, which is 3776 square feet, it actually scored at a 60 without solar. And then when we added the solar system, which is a 5.1 kilowatt solar system, it dropped down to 32. In all of these models, you're gonna find that they save money, even more money, just by adding solar. Paul, thank you again for joining me today for this wonderful virtual tour. Would you please share with the audience of your role and how long you've been with Lennar? Oh, sure. Um, I've been with Lennar for about five and a half years here in the Las Vegas market as director of sales. Um, I was with a previous builder in Southern California where we had solar all over the place. So it's, it's great to be here in, in Las Vegas and looking forward to working more and more with, with, with you. So Lennar is known for industry-leading innovative programs like the Everything's Included, also known as EI program. Will you describe what this is? Yeah, absolutely. Everything Included is a very simple program. We do all the research for the consumer to show them and provide for them the, the needed items that they want in their homes without additional prices. Um, you know, there are option builders that are out there and we are not one of those option builders. We just provide what's included and everyone gets to uh, kind of customize it still to their taste. So as, an, as innovation in energy efficiency and solar has progressed, over the past de decade, what do you think are the best benefits to the homeowners? For solar, so solar here in Nevada has been, been you know, a unique challenge over the years, but the best benefits that someone can have is reduced cost on um, their monthly utility bills. They could have a tax advantage if they purchase it. They could also have, uh, have the ability to, to provide a, a green footprint for, for their, their lives thereafter and for their, their children too. Good answers. So as you know, Sonova New Homes was developed by a builder to focus primarily on residential construction. 
understanding the build cycle and how to integrate solar as a trade while maintaining a smooth schedule is key. Um, how important is it to be partnered with a solar company who fully understands home building? Oh yeah, that's uh, that's the key. So you know, you never want there to be problems in the field as as the construction managers are building the homes, and that's what's just wonderful about this. It's a seamless transaction. There are no upfront fees, no hidden costs that that are included for for the consumer or for the builder. Um, it's a very easy transition. Um, you get to to have service and answers immediately if there are questions, and uh, the training is is ex experience. Yeah. Right. Very good. So let me ask you, what do you find are the home buyer benefits working with uh, Sonova solar programs particularly? Um, here in most of your communities now are offering the lease plus and like you said before, the option to purchase. What would you say are the key benefits? Um, you know, it's, it's a choice. So, you know, we offer the, the included feature is the lease plus. So it happens to be there for the consumer. It's nothing they have to do other than just sign a few forms and they, they get the benefits of having a reduced uh, monthly cost for the utilities. Um, the purchase option is great for those who want to buy it and produce their own, own energy and then also have the reduced cost too and possible tax benefits that come with it. Right, that's a big plus, definitely. So how is Lennar um, marketing the energy efficiency and solar technology? And what kind of tips could you give other builders on how, how it's being marketed here with Lennar and perhaps you know, what other builders can gain from that information? You know, being, being part of the solar industry and providing that for the consumer is, is kind of uh, forward thinking and Lennar likes to do things that are forward thinking. So if we, if we do the, what's right for the consumer and for the buyers that are out there, they tend to follow and they tend to, tend to love it. As we're getting more and more Californians moving to Nevada too, it's an expectation it's, uh, starting to happen. So I think more, more and more builders are gonna see that they want to do this and, uh, and find out that, that it's gonna be expected in the near future. Great, excellent. Well, so Lennar began integrating solar into the Everything's Included program over a decade ago. Uh, and being an innovator sometimes comes with learning curves. <laughs> and with that said, what would you say the initial challenges and solutions have, have been where in educating your new home consultants, realtors, and the home buyers? Yeah, so the, uh, the biggest challenges that we had were really a lot of the realtors. Um, it, was, it was challenging before when solar was available here in Nevada. The, the, uh, whenever they went to sell it, it was very difficult for them to sell. So getting them over that hump where it's a very seamless transition, again, another signed documentation and it's done, even for the lease plus. Um, that, was, that was one of the biggest challenges that we had. I think getting the new home consultants to understand it is pretty easy. Um, you know, Sonova provides great training for them on one-on-one, -on -one, if not in a group environment, um, but it's been very, very easy to make the transition back into solar here in Nevada. Great, great. And they are, and it is getting easier. I see that now, mm -hmm. so that's wonderful. The more experience they have, the easier it's starting to get as far as the realtors are involved. Um, so with designing homes with solar at a community level, well ahead of construction, what, what do you find are some of the benefits? Um, you know, you, you work within master plans, right? So you want to make sure that everything looks seamless, looks like it, it's encompassing with the community there and that there's nothing, nothing sticking out that's, that's strange. Um, so working with Sunova, it's very easy to, to customize the design, the inlay into the roof line. Um, it makes it very, very unique and very nice for a street scene within the communities. Great. Well, Paul, you are full of information <laughs> for our viewers, and we appreciate you taking the time to share your community and knowledge. And I look forward to even having you join us for the live portion of this uh, segment. My pleasure. Thank you. You bet. Okay. Well, we're finishing our day now, and we'd like to say thank you those at National Association of Home Builders and National Association of Realtors for inviting Lennar and Sonova to participate in this virtual tour. Home performance does count. Thank you very much. All right, that's a wrap.
All right, everybody. Bringing everybody back online and back on camera, Paul and Annette. All right, say hello so everybody, we know everybody can hear everybody. Hello. Hello. All right, thanks so much for the tour. That was great. You're welcome. <laughs> it's fun. All right, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the disclaimer right now for the first time ever, I'm getting notices that my internet is unstable, which never happens. So if I glitch, I apologize. Of course it would be today, but let's move straight into question and answer. We've got a few questions from the group. Um, somebody has asked when creating new neighborhoods, is it better to put solar on each home's roof or have a solar field where the homes draw from? from? So community solar, now, if you can talk to that at all. Well, um, I, can, I can answer it from my experience. I think it would just depend on obviously the land and the regulations in whatever state that you're working in. Here in Nevada, community solar isn't an option for us. So it's more economic to put the solar on the rooftops and, and utilize that real estate there. All right, Paul, did you have anything to add? Yeah, I would say that's what I've seen uh, Southern California and, and here in Nevada too, is, is uh, you wanna use the, uh, the land that you have on top of your house as much as possible and, and uh, try to produce as much solar for yourself as, as, as you can. Okay, great, thank you. Someone would like to know is Lennar doing EE and RE building features and all their builds, including on the East Coast. Um, Annette, you might know more about the East Coast than I do. I uh, know here within our region, we're trying to do solar as much as possible, and that would include California and uh, Phoenix area, along with Tucson and, and And I think right now we've been primarily focused on um, California, Nevada, uh, Texas, Florida is probably as far east as we are currently. Um, and then of course, I say Colorado, yeah. So I think as, as the NARC continues to expand, then we'll expand with them as well, as far as the solar integrated into the, into the construction cycle. And I believe I've heard hints about um, possibly some kind of microgrid neighborhood down in Florida. <laughs> All that. Check out. <laughs> so we'll see. I, Lennar is all over, so I, I, yeah. I would expect it to be expanding towards the East Coast because solar is viable in pretty much all of the country. So yeah, I would, I as, would imagine what we're going to see over the next few years is just tons of growth in, in all markets. Mm -hmm. All right. It'll be interesting to watch. Um, how does Lennar sell its water efficiency features, especially outdoor water usage there in the desert there in Las Vegas? <laughs> um, you know, there's only a limited number of watt, amount of water, right? Yeah, <laughs> you can only have so much of that. Um, so far, you know, our energy features inside is really what we sell. Outside is kind of what, what the buyers get to do. We do do uh, um, zero scape in the front yards as much as possible. The entities here in Nevada require that to be desert scape and rock. Um, so there's a very, very limited amount of, of water that's needed for the front yards. And then the backyards are really up to the home buyer to be able to do whatever they want. Uh, but they're also kind of restricted by the HOA guidelines and also by the guidelines of the, of the counties and the cities that we're in. All right. And I can either take, oh, do you have something to add first, Annette? I was going to ask somebody to explain more about what Zero Escape is in case people okay. don't know. Okay, okay. Well, um, just to add to what Paul was saying is, um, being in Southern Nevada with obviously building in the, de uh, the desert, there's been some wonderful programs, the Water Smart program here locally, which the builders have definitely adopted. And it's actually been integrated into code too, which has been nice. So all new homes going forward, gosh, even since the early 2000s have been very, very conscientious of the water usage. All right, does anybody want to tackle Xeriscape? You're gonna leave it to me. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's a process of landscaping that is, in theory, supposed to reduce the um, need or eliminate the need for irrigation. So you're looking at focusing on the plants that are supposed to be growing in the area you are. So when you're in Nevada, you're talking a lot of succulents, a lot of native grasses. Um, and in your case, and I'm not, I'm not sure I haven't seen Silverado Valley Estates live, but I know some of the neighborhoods in the Vegas area don't even put landscaping in some of their areas. You were talking about, you know, some of it, some of it is not, but then the part that is, is really supposed, is really 
match to the climate. Yeah, we call it chunky rock in a lot of places. <laughs> so big <laughs> boulders and chunky rock all over the front yard is, is okay in a lot of places too. <laughs> yeah, I like chunky rock. Um, a very specific question. This should be a quick answer. Is Lennar part of Babcock Ranch in Florida? I don't know. We would have to probably follow up on that one. Yeah, we'll follow up on that, Lana. I don't believe so, but I'm not sure. So we'll put that in the Q&A summary PDF for sure. So, um, and do all of all the Lennar homes come with standard solar now? Yes or no? Because there's a question about if the ones with solar sell for a premium than the ones that don't, if they're easier to sell, you know, are you seeing a differential if you have the two models? We're, we're integrating really the, the Lease Plus program in many of our communities and starting to, as we, as we cycle into new communities, have, have that program right now. I think, I think the next logical um, integration for solar is going to be when we can get to a net zero, we will actually start providing the solar as, as a purchase as part of the EI features that we have and no need for the buyers to purchase it at all. But I want to get to that net zero first. I think that's the most logical, logical next step. All right, great. Let's see, um, and Chelsea, for, can you put up the slide with the pictures for me? Because um, we have a question about, um, can both either both of you speak more about how to talk to a potential customer who's walking into one of your models about the benefits of the performance um, of the home? And this was in the video, this was great for each of the houses. So if you could talk to a little bit more for people who aren't familiar with this kind of silent salesperson language and for the realtor actually speaking to it as somebody's in the home. Yeah, now let me start and then you can kind of take over from there. Yeah, so, you know, people don't know what they don't know is what I always say. And uh, having a visual for someone to stop at, um, whether, you know, it's a virtual tour or, or it's a live tour with one of the new home consultants, it, it, it starts the conversation as to what is this and what does it mean? Um, so we can talk about the hearse ratings and how tight the steel is of the house and start talking about the, the products that we use in order to make the homes more energy efficient. Um, you know, and then you just go to, do you like to save $2,500? And people nod their heads, generally yes, and say, that's what you're going to save when you buy this home. <laughs> and that's enough of the conversation because you don't want to get too, too deep in, into the details because not everyone's going to understand what you're saying. Uh, but just keeping it simple, too, is, is uh, what we try to do. So the only thing that I would add, and that's perfectly said, Paul, good job, um, is really there's an, an opportunity for education as well, because there's just so many people who haven't been introduced to the HERS index. I mean, we all know when we are looking for a car that we know to look what the miles per gallon is going to be, and then we gauge that internally whether that's going to be something that we're looking for in the way of savings. Well, the HERS index is a great visual because it does show folks that there really is a way to measure performance in a home because energy is one of the most expensive costs to operate a home. And up until recently, folks haven't really understood that, but now they're starting to pick up on it. And so I love this visual because it does, like Paul said, it makes them stop, think, wonder. And then as they go to another community and they don't have these visuals, either they're gonna ask those questions, um, maybe they won't know because they, you know, maybe they don't have that information or they're not tuned in like Lenaria's, um, but it's a memory point, it's a quality point, um, and I think it's a differentiating point too between one community, one builder and the next. And then how do you use the visual that's next to it? Um, it's, it's obviously it's a shot of the roof from the home and you can see the solar on it. So is that how you introduce them to the fact that there's going to be standard solar? Yeah, especially if it's a, it's a, a dirt sale, you can say, you know, this is where your solar will be on this home. Um, kind of shows the, the pitches of the roof line, kind of where it, where it lands. Um, right now, we try, you, the solar's always put where the sun's are going, sun's going to be most of the day as the day is the sun's going across the, across the roof line. Um, and it helps. It helps them know that if it, it's not going to be on the front of the home, it's going to be on the back of the home. They understand better what's going on. Once we get past this part of the, of the purchase process, really at our dusty shoes when our construction team uh, goes into more details about, about where the solar is going to be and kind of can actually point to the roof line where it's going to, going to be located. Okay. All right, great. Thank you. You can take that down, Chelsea. Thank you. 
Um, does the solar panel lease program make resales challenging for the homeowners? Um, some realtors sometimes can be nervous about the leases transferring upon resales. You want me to take that home? Yeah, you take that one. Okay. So I get to wear both hats, my realtor hat and my Sonoma hat <laughs> on this question. <laughs> so the lease plus program is super simple. Um, it just transfers at the point of sale. There is, there's no qualifying. It just transfers right on over. Um, the beautiful thing is that the Lease Plus program is a savings to the utility company, so it's attractive, and it's fixed. It never goes up, ever, ever, for the full 20-year term, and then the new owner will just pick up where they left off. Um, it's just, and there's several different flexible terms, too. If the new owner wanted to purchase it, they could at that point. So there's just tons of flexibility involved in it, and it's easy. And, you know, as far as realtors are concerned, um, it's education, Michelle. I mean, I always say that it's all about understanding the process, understanding what these different programs are. Uh, there are several different types of programs that are out in the marketplace. So become, just become educated. Um, I'm going to point back to the green designation that the Realtors, National Association of Realtors offers, because that does teach a realtor all about home performance. But then how, does, how do you really position it in the way you represent buyers and then the way that you represent sellers? So educational key for me. And that's a great segue. I was going to ask if you could explain a little bit more about that green realtor designation for those who aren't familiar with it. Yeah, sure. So uh, the National Association of Realtors has been offering the green designation, I think, right about 2009. And it's just, it's another national um, designation that realtors are able to attain. There are several others that we have. Um, but through the course of the two-day education, a realtor will be educated on exactly that home performance. What makes a, a home perform better and more energy efficient uh, without going into too much technical, but just enough to where you be, one becomes knowledgeable. Um, keeping in mind that homes are what, what is what we sell when we're realtors, right? So the better you understand a home and the home performance is the better you are when you're talking to folks about energy efficiency. Uh, it also talks about solar and how that's integrated. But the key part of that education is we take all that information and then we turn it around to how do you position it as features and benefits. Um, if you're listing a home, how do you properly and better, more effectively list a property, utilizing what the MLS features are offering in the different fields, but how do you also you know, really market it as a solar powered home or whatever it may be and then on the buying side, how do you represent a buyer? And all of that is taught of how to actually filter your MLS so that you can just pull up homes that actually offer solar or if there is uh, say an Energy Star designation or certification, there's filters in the, built into the most of the MLSs now that you can actually do that. But I, I like to just go a little bit further with that. I will put a lot of comments in the agent to agent notes. I'll make sure that my you know, public comments definitely tout the solar um, power, low cost for the utilities, and just really, really emphasize that. All right, great, thank you. Um, let's turn to now the elephant in the room, COVID, of course. Um, are customers focusing on different things? Are you finding since the onset of COVID? Um, I know FlexSpace was mentioned during the video, but what about some of the high performance features like indoor air quality, acoustics, anything else, maximizing the use of outdoor space, at least when it's not 120 <laughs> degrees in Vegas. Um, are you seeing customers come in more about that? Um, yeah, I, I would say for sure. I mean, COVID has, has changed the way people live within their home. They realize how bad their current living situation may be because they have to have some place for people to learn, some place to people to work and to live to all at the same time. Um, and it's really it's really driven our next gen cells um, up to use that that flexible space, which used to be for living quarters and now it's for anything and everything quarters. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's been it's been interesting to see that. I think the the insides of the homes and the the uh, the air quality is just now starting to pique people's interest too. Um, you know, if you can get filters that are going to uh, take out something that they may may want to be taken out of, of the air, I think people are just now starting to think about those things. We're hearing more and more about that as as the days are going on. All right, and that anything to add? No, I think Paul did a great job. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
it, it'll be interesting to see what happens over the next three to f- three to six months too, as, as, as people are getting more and more out there in the, in the world looking for homes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And they're actually going to start, you know, banging cabinet doors again and stuff instead of doing it over zoom. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, the one thing I was going to add now that, now that we we're just talking is I think for the first time in our lives that we've never spent that much time in our homes. <laughs> so we really got to know what, what works, you know, what works for us and what spaces become more important. And like Paul was saying, that extra, that extra flex space um, is, is becoming more and more important mm-hmm. to a lot of homeowners. So I think it's going to be interesting to see. Um, let's see, what else do we have? How about some tips, Annette, for working, well, and Paul, are working with a broker who isn't experienced in green yet? So where what what suggestions can you give them if the broker isn't experienced in green or if the broker is looking to try to sell green homes? I know you, you mentioned the MLS fields and things, but kind of, you know, the wholesale and maybe a couple of the high points of what they should be looking for as they get into this, I want to sell my customers green homes or I'm trying to resale a home that is high performance? The one thing that I would just say is to, to go after the green designation. It's really a solid course. It teaches so much and then they can understand more of what features, what the features are that are going into the home to make it an energy efficient home. And then they can understand how to better serve their clients. And you mentioned the MLS field. So there's, for people who don't know, it's not, I used to always think it was just the giant MLS. It was this big <laughs> umbrella all over the country, but it's really not. There's different ones in every market. There so is. the fields are not exactly the same in all of them, but more and more of them, I think it's over half now, do have designated green fields to fill in. But then you mentioned something about agent to agent notes if perhaps they don't have those types of fields. Well, I can speak to what we have here in Las Vegas. Um, and I do know that they have been standardizing a lot of the green fields across the United States. And it's mm-hmm. like you said, it just depends on what the local market is adopting and what, what they are not. But, you know, we now have um, fields for, is it a, is it a Energy Star cert- certified home? Is it, or, you know, or LEED or any of the other type of green programs that are out there. Um, but we do have fields that, uh, uh, that disclose what a, the solar system, does it have a solar system? Yes, you know, okay. solar, solar, yes. Uh, what's the capacity, which is the size. And so we can basically, is at least as it owned, which is very, very important for a listing agent to know is, you know, to make sure that you're identifying whether it's leased or if it's an owned system, because that changes how the transaction continues to flow. Um, but all of those fields have, have been integrated here locally. I do know most markets are also integrating those. So definitely look for them. And if you do have them in your MLS, I just suggest that you utilize them. Great. And Paul, do you have anything to add? Oh, I, I would just say that that whenever we get questions from realtors or buyers about the solar program that we offer, you know, knowledge is power. So we just try to to download as much information as we can off Sunnova's website to to the buyers and have them go to there. And, and Sunnova has a great um, helpline to to answer questions that we don't even know the answers to. So we we just say let's call them right right now together, and uh, they've got great answers too that it helps. Speaking of when people are coming in, Paul, what are, because it's a two-part question here, what are the top things people are coming in asking for? And then depending what they're asked, depending what your answer is to that, how do you turn what the features, the high-performance features of your homes are into the part of the answer for that conversation? To get them yeah, 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 it really depends on the answers that, that they give. So, you know, you kind of try to find out what the hot buttons are on what they're leaving now and what they disliked for the last year about their home that they <laughs> that they lived in for uh, for 24-7. Um, once you find that out, then you can just really kind of go to, to anything. But I would say people are looking for space right now. Uh, definitely more space than what they have currently. Uh, they're looking for for that indoor outdoor feel a lot of too because you know, we we don't have 125 degrees all the time here in Nevada but you know sometimes we've got that limited limited period of time the rest of the time is just wonderful um, out, indoor out and outdoors um, I think they're looking for for flexibility too so they want that extra extra ability to utilize a space, not necessarily for a dining room, but for something else that they, that they may need again. Lord forbid that we don't have another pan- pandemic, but 
in the event we do and we have to work from <laughs> home again and live there forever, we want to be able to have that space to be able to do what we need to do. And that anything to add what you're seeing in the market? Uh, I think Paul, I, I think Paul covered it pretty well. I, you know, I purposely, and again, if I'm wearing my realtor hat, I purposely mm -hmm. ask the questions if, um, you know, energy efficiency is important. Are they interested in solar power? So I, that way I understand, you know, as far as this conversation is concerned, I understand where they are and if they, aren't knowledgeable, then I take that as an opportunity to educate them as well. Okay, great. I wanna, um, I wanna ask you a final question to kind of both of you that kind of brings it back to where you guys are in Las Vegas. So the Las Vegas area has a lot of transplants. There's people from the East, there's people from the Midwest, maybe they're sick of not seeing the sun for four months. Like I grew up in Ohio mm -hmm. and Michigan and didn't see the sun for four months. Um, you've got people moving from California to the Las Vegas market. So how do you talk to customers from other parts of the country about the importance of how these homes are being built to operate in your climate and you know the whole taking advantage of the solar and putting it on, conserving water in the desert, dealing with the heat in the desert. How do you bring that conversation to where they are coming to instead of from? Paul, do you wanna take that? Why don't you start and I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, I'm, I'm really, I gotta say I'm really lucky because I get to I get to speak to a lot of Lennar customers as the Sonova representative. And and sometimes this is new. You know, sometimes so having solar being built into the home is new. And um, I just like to point out the advantages of that, the savings that they're gonna have, the clean energy resources, you know, and we we also like to talk about, you know, just it's it's the pathway towards energy independence as well. And folks do like that conversation, feel like they are part of the solution, but really what they want to know is if it saves them money. And that that is true, it does. And so we just speak to that quite a bit. Um, I don't really, in my role with Sonova, don't go into the energy efficiency, that's more of Lennar's teams, sales teams, they do that. Um, but in the general real estate world, I definitely am always talking about it. Yeah, I would just add that, that you know, where they're coming from depends, you know, what they're looking for too. So if they're used to seeing lots of green grass around a home or in the backyard, you know, we have to kind of educate them that you're probably not going to get that and you don't want that here. And the reason is because, you know, water conservation and because the, the cities and the counties don't allow for that too. But, you know, it, it's it's listening, it's deciding, you know, which way to go with, with their, their questions that they have. Um, but everyone loves to save money, number one. So everything that we do include and everything we can talk to saves them money of some sort, whether it's water, solar, um, heating, gas, um, the tightness of our, of our home build. People love to hear about that too and understand that a little bit better. And construction is wonderful during our dusty shoes to be able to, to provide that information to them even more so. And so they, by the time they're ready to close on their, their homes for new construction, they're, they're so excited about the, the opportunity that they have for that home. Right. And can't wait, can't wait to live here in Las Vegas. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sunshine, right. 360 days, by the way, Michelle. <laughs> is that what it is? 360? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, we have sunshine today and cicadas yeah. here in the DC area, but that's why I have my windows shut for you. But um, anyway, Chelsea, if you could put the slides back up, we're coming up on our scheduled time and we want to be respectful of everybody's schedules. Thank you. So I just want to let everybody know that the series is going to continue monthly on the third Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And we hope you're going to join us next month when we're a little farther south. We're going to be in Santa Fe, New Mexico to see a fantastic home by Palo Santo Designs, which was featured in the 2020 Hacienda Parade of Homes. And this is actually Mark and Leslie Giordetti's Sorry if I didn't say that right, Mark and Leslie. It's their personal residence. Um, so you'll get to see how it's also being lived in and how it's actually performing. It's got lots of high performance features, including a rainwater catchment system, which I am excited to see. And be sure to join us in July in Vancouver, Washington at Urban Downs to see one of the first 2020 National Green Building Standard NGBS Green Certified Homes. And they also pursued the NGBS Green Plus Wellness and Universal Design Badges. Next slide, please. Thanks. Because we would like to once again thank Annette Buback of Sonova Energy Corporation and Paul Parkinson of Lennar for the tour of Silverado Valley Estates and for being us with us here today from Las Vegas to answer questions. Thank you so much.
just to Very let nice. everybody know, um, today's tour was recorded. It will be available on demand at nahb.org. In just a few days, you'll receive a follow-up email with the link. And there'll also be a summary Q&A PDF included. In the meantime, if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to ping me. I'm on your registration or NAHB learning at nahb.org. So thanks for joining us and we hope to see you next month and have a great day. Have a great sunny day. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Thanks everyone. Thank you, Nat. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, everybody. Yeah.